Yo, a few shots. Here's a pretty awesome business idea that you're welcome to steal. So do you know about the Amazon Echo and Google Home? Those things are awesome devices. You basically speak to them and they're kind of like a, a personal home Jarvis. And they're basically hundred dollar devices that most people kind of sit in there, either in their kitchen or in their living room. And you can do things like say, Alexa, play me a country music song and it'll just start playing something. Or Alexa, what's the weather like today? So like an always on, always ready uh, Siri, it basically just sits there and just talks to well, Google's about to release their version. I think they'll end up being better than Amazon just purely based on the machine learning and the data they have. And they seem to be going after the more IoT, internet-enabled home thing. So you can go look up some demo videos and Google's kind of wanting to become a bit like the Jarvis AI in uh, uh, Iron Man, where you basically just tell it to do things. So you can control your TV, you can tr control your lights, everything in the house. But what's really cool is Amazon just released a $2.5 million annual Alexa prize where they're uh, encouraging college students to form teams to build a conversational AI where you have a conversation with it for at least 20 minutes. This is big because the first company that can actually develop a conversational AI that's always on and always in your home, always in your life, is going to have a runaway network effect and that'll end up becoming the dominant AI in your life and home. Because Google, Siri and Alexa and others like that, they aren't these long conversational things and so they're getting very little input because all you're really doing is asking the occasional question, getting the occasional answer back. So it's not a lot of data. Okay, so here's the idea. So you just got home from a hard day at work, you're in the kitchen, you're cooking up some dinner, you're bored, you're lonely, you're like, fuck, what am I going to do? You know, you want to talk to someone. So you say, Alexa, and you ask her a question. And you're not asking specific questions like, you know, what's the height of Mount Everest or, you know, what's the weather like tomorrow? Instead, you ask, hey, what did you think of the presidential debate last night? Was Trump an asshole again? What do you reckon? Seconds later, you get a very non-Alexa, non-Siri response. The response comes through the, the, the speakers and it's like, yeah, he was such an idiot. Like, I can't believe this is the president. This is actual reality. This is a presidential debate. And then you reply like, wow, yeah, it was insane. Did you see that video where like he was on the bus and there was like a secret microphone, you know, the microphone was running and he was like talking about like grabbing women by the pussy? What is happening? And then you want to bring your friend Andy into this conversation. So you just say to Alexi, say, hey, Andy, like, what do you think about this? Like, did you see that video? It was crazy, right? Andy happens to be in his kitchen as well cooking dinner. And seconds later, you hear a voice from him. He's like, dude, I actually think this is really awesome. Like, um, it's, I, think, I think America needs Trump because it's going to be, it's going to shake it up. And we'll see how it goes. I think it's really good. I think they need this. They need something crazy to happen. I realize now that I should have used filters to do the different voices. Oh, well, good learning. <laughs> So anyway, what's happening here? Well, basically it's just forming an audio-based social network on top of the Alexa platform, where when you ask it a question, Alexa is just recording that and sending that to someone else. So this is gonna be a simple, small social network just for your friends. So you could add, say, you know, three or four of your friends who also have an Alexa device, and you can basically just like say their name rather than asking for Alexa and just talk to them instantly. So maybe you just add like your friends, Mary, Andy, and Bob, um, and to basically uh, kind of register them into the system that they are your friends, you just say their name. And so Alexa then knows their name. So now whenever you say the word Andy, or the word Bob, or the word Mary, it knows exactly who you're talking about and it sends the, the, the following message to their device and plays it. You can probably think of that as like a more intelligent walkie-talkie system between friends, which alone is pretty damn cool. But to the next level of that, what you can actually do is have this system actually route your message to random other people that you've never met, you don't even know who they are, and they can respond to your statement or your question. And Google Home and Alexa actually have developer platforms, so you can build these systems. They basically download your app, install it, and then they can route their messages to anyone within that network or their friends. Now, there's a few issues to work out, like availability, because obviously you're only ever near an Alexa device at a certain time. This would be great for if you're in the kitchen or if you're in the living room and you're kind of like bored, you're just hanging around and like you want to do something. So what you can do is pay, have people actually log on. So they can say, Alexa, log on to social. Alexa, join so, no, social. Alexa, join your app or something. Just something where like they know that you're available right now. Then once you're logged on, you can ask questions or statements, maybe you limit it by like 30 seconds. They then get routed out to some random person that you don't know, and then you get a response from them, and you can have back and forth conversation. And the cool thing about this, I don't think it'd be that technically impossible, because Alexa and Google Home, they definitely have developer platforms that offer transcription. So you can basically transcribe everyone's messages, pull out the keywords to be able to route them effectively. I Meaning you can make a statement or ask a question about football, and it would know you're talking about football, because it transcribe that message, pull out the tag, and then route your message to someone who's also interested in that same topic. And what's interesting about this is that if you're just basically just recording people's messages and playing them back in their own voices, cool, that just seems like some awesome little auditory social network. But if you basically play it back in Siri's voice or in Alexa's voice or in Google's voice, I think you almost end up creating a Turing complete AI because people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And then obviously every time a human asks a question or sends a statement and gets a response in either a question or a statement form, that's an instant feedback loop the AI learns. And so while this method is really employing the hive mind rather than the machine learning algorithms, I think it's so valuable that you might actually win the Alexa prize or at least get an acquisition offer. Snap your thoughts at Future.